Welcome in Nextmaid. Modern soap has come a long way. Not only does it fight grime and keep things hygienic, but it also smells pretty amazing. It can come in a variety of shapes and textures. But how is it made? The first step in soap production involves selecting suitable plant-based oils. In the recent past, animal fat was used that was obtained directly from slaughterhouses. However, this was soon replaced by plant-based oils such as olive oil. Not only does this eliminate impurities, but it also results in milder and skin-friendly soaps. The quality of the olive oil depends on the quality of the olives being harvested. Selection of the optimal harvest time along with careful handling is crucial to obtaining a high-quality oil that's sublime in aroma and taste. Olives can be harvested by hand or through mechanical means. Hand harvesting is often preferred for high-quality olive oils as it minimizes damage to the fruit. After harvesting, the oils are cleaned to remove leaves and other debris. This is usually done using equipment such as vibrating screens. The cleaned olives are then crushed to break down the fruit and release the oil. Traditionally, stone mills were used for this purpose, but modern facilities often use stainless steel crushes or hammer mills. The crushed olives are then subjected to malaxation, a process that involves mixing and kneading the olive paste. This helps in the coalescence of oil droplets into larger droplets facilitating the extraction of oil. Now that the paste has been primed for extraction, centrifuges are used to separate the oil. The olive paste is spun in a centrifuge and the centrifugal force separates the oil from the other components such as water and solids. The extracted olive oil may undergo filtration to remove any remaining impurities or particles. Sodium hydroxide NaOH, also known as caustic soda, is commonly used as the alkali in soap production. The precise amount is calculated based on the type and quantity of vegetable oil being used. The key chemical reaction in soap making is saponification, which is a process by which fatty acids and oils react with an alkali to produce soap and glycerin. This reaction typically takes place in large stainless steel vessels. The olive oil is heated and the alkali is gradually added while stirring. This process initiates the saponification reaction. The mixture is carefully monitored to ensure an even distribution of heat and alkali. Maintaining a controlled temperature during saponification is crucial for the success of the reaction. The temperature varies depending on the specific vegetable oil being used, but it is typically in the range of 100 to 150 degrees Celsius. The pH of the soap batter is tested at various stages of the process to determine the alkalinity. As saponification progresses, the pH of the mixture changes. The end point of saponification is often associated with a specific pH range. Factory workers use pH testing strips or meters to monitor the pH and determine when it reaches the desired level. As a result of saponification, glycerin is formed as a byproduct. In commercial soap production, the glycerin is often separated from the soap mixture. Glycerin is a valuable byproduct and can be used in various other industries such as cosmetics and pharmaceuticals. After the saponification reaction is complete, the liquid soap is sprayed over a big metal roll. As it passes over the metal, the soap solidifies and a big blade scrapes it off, creating ribbons of soap. The soap ribbons fall into a hopper where an auger moves them along and sends them down a chute. The soap ribbons fall down the chute into a rolling mill where they are mixed and compressed. Small blades cut up the milled soap into ribbons once again, but this time they are much denser. These denser soap ribbons fall down a hopper into an auger, which throws them into an extruder called a noodle plate that shapes them into soap noodles. The soap noodles are then collected into a bin, which dumps them into a mixer. In the mixer, various additives are introduced to enhance the soap's appeal. Fragrances, colorants, and essential oils are added to give the soap a pleasant scent and appearance. Depending on the intended use of the soap, additional ingredients such as moisturizers, exfoliants, or specialty oils may be incorporated. These ingredients contribute to the soap-specific properties, such as moisturizing or exfoliating capabilities. When the batch is ready, a trapdoor opens up in the mixer. The blades of the mixer keep turning and nudge the soap out of the door. Then it's forced through another noodle plate. This mixes up the batch a little more and also helps break down any clumps or uneven texture resulting in a smoother and more uniform soap. The soap is then extruded or plotted into the desired shape. This can be in the form of long bars, pellets, or other shapes depending on the manufacturing specifications. 
The extruded soap is precision cut into individual bars or pieces. This can be done manually or using automated cutting machines, ensuring uniformity in size and shape. The cut soap bars are then left to dry. This can be done in open A or in specialized drying rooms. Drying is essential to remove excess moisture, solidify the soap, and improve its hardness. Once the soap bars are dried and hardened, they undergo stamping. Stamping involves pressing the soap with a die or mold to imprint the brand name, logo, or other identifying marks. The final step in the soap making process is packaging. The soap bars are packaged in various ways, including boxes, wrappers, or plastic wrapping. Packaging is designed not only for protection, but also for marketing and presentation. Throughout the entire soap making process, quality control measures are implemented. This includes testing the pH of the soap, ensuring that it meets safety and regulatory standards, and conducting sensory evaluations for fragrance and texture. Moreover, because soap production generates byproducts such as excess alkali and impurities, proper waste management practices are crucial to minimize environmental impact. This includes recycling, treatment, or safe disposal of byproducts. That was all about the journey of soap from olives on a tree branch to the product that occupies your bathroom shelves. If you want to know how toilet paper is made, check out this video. Thanks for watching Next Made.